From Sarasota Memorial and the Deb Kavanaugh Multimedia Studio, this is HealthCast, a healthy dose of information from experts you can trust. Hi, everybody. Welcome to HealthCast. I'm Allison Gottermeyer. Thank you so much for joining us today as we talk about self-care and medical weight loss. Our guest today is Ronnie Marino, a physician assistant and the provider who cares directly for patients in the medical weight loss program at Sarasota Memorial. Ronnie, thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. So can you start by explaining what exactly the medical weight loss clinic is? Absolutely. We are a health clinic where patients are referred to us because they are obese and need to lose weight either because of comorbid conditions, because they have to have an upcoming surgery and need to lose in order to safely have the surgery, or simply because they are obese and have yo-yoed on multiple diets and have to lose. So who should be reaching out to the medical weight loss team? So primary care providers, orthopedists, or patients themselves can refer. How is this different from signing up at, say, your local gym or with a dietitian? We are a medical program, and we evaluate past medical problems, surgical history, medications. We look at eating behaviors. We look at family history and how family dynamics work into why a patient has either been successful or failed versus just a gym or a dietitian that just looks at combinations of food. We truly are a medical program. When you say we, who is we? Okay. So myself, who runs the clinic, I have a dietitian. Um, I am fortunate, very fortunate to work with a wonderful bariatric surgeon, Dr. Rao. Um, we also have um, another mid-level um, and then we also have another dietitian that works with just the bariatric side. So what do you think is the biggest misconception about medical weight loss or, or even weight loss in general? That it's, there's a quick and easy fix, that there is a pill that will fix everything, and that a patient doesn't have to be accountable and doesn't have to do any hard work. I am a patient's biggest cheerleader. I will always be there to encourage them. But there is not any one pill that will fix obesity. So what can a person expect if they reach out to the medical weight loss team? H how does this program work? Okay. Um, they will do a initial evaluation, which is a new patient form. When they come in, I evaluate their past medical history, including medical problems, surgical history. I look at medications to see if there are any medications that either cause weight gain or may be preventing them from losing. Um, we then go into their family history. I go into their eating behaviors. I go as far back as high school as to their weight throughout their history. And we talk about whether or not they, what diet plans have worked, haven't worked. Um, and how they're currently eating, good, bad, ugly. And we do tools, um, uh, questionnaires to see if they have any specific eating behaviors. Um, my dietitian then sees them and we formulate a plan of care for them. There can be a lot of um, shame or judgment from the outside when it comes to obesity, weight gain, attempts at weight loss. How do you kind of combat that to help these patients? Well, first of all, I tell them there's no judgment, at least not with our clinic, never will be. 
okay? It's a safe place. I want them to feel comfortable in talking about obesity, which is a very, very sensitive topic when they're breaking down walls and they're opening up to me. Um, first of all, it's always a secret that most people won't even address when they go to see their providers. They have to actually reach out and ask to be referred most of the time. A lot of the times, providers won't even talk about the elephant obesity in the room. Um, so I tell them, safe, zero judgment. Whether you go up, you go down, doesn't matter. We're here to change your lifestyle. And I will work with you. And this is about making you a healthier individual. Does everyone get medication to help with weight loss? No. No, they don't. Not everybody needs it. So it's all a very, very individualized plan. So if it's appropriate, yes, they do. But not everybody needs medication. Sometimes it can be dealt with with just a change in behavior of eating and accountability and encouraging them to exercise, get good sleep, drink more water, some of the basics, but yet the basics are a lot of the time unattainable to people. Do most of your patients ultimately require weight loss surgery? No, no. Um, of course, those that are morbidly obese, bariatric surgery is likely the most beneficial, but no. And even morbidly obese that may not qualify for surgery for one reason or another can still be very, very successful in medical weight management. But it's hard work. You got to put in the work. And they can do it. We can get them to goal and get them into maintenance and keep them in maintenance. And then on the other side, is every patient who comes to the medical weight loss program morbidly obese? No, not at all. Some can just have an abnormal weight gain. So no, there's every level of patients who come to see us. So it may just be 20, 30 pounds. It may be 130 pounds. It's very varied. So surgical patients not always have to lose that 100 plus pounds. This is the time of year we really hear about New Year's resolutions. Absolutely. And people have decided in the new year they want to lose that weight or be healthier. Or maybe um, if they have uh, diabetes to reduce the amount of medication, or whatever it is, this is the time of year we hear about that. What is your advice to those people? Seize the moment. Make your goal yourself. So social media, everybody spends what? 15, 20 minutes on social media a day. Give yourself those 15, 20 minutes a day. Spend it on yourself. If you are overweight, heading towards obesity, change your lifestyle. Make it important to yourself to give yourself better health. Can these resolutions ever be harmful? Sure, absolutely. Fad diets are just that, fad diets. And so if you do an abrupt change in your diet and you don't really know where your kidney function is, where your blood pressure is, and you make a radical change, yes, they can be harmful. What's your advice to people who are in those re who are making those resolutions, they wanna lose weight, maybe they aren't yet ready to reach out to the medical weight loss team, but um, they're making those resolutions, how can they avoid the yo-yoing of weight, which we often see, or, or failing on those resolutions, or, or giving up? Don't be so drastic in your changes. It really just requires simple changes. Change one thing at a time. One of the most simple things that we can do, ready? Stop carbonation and get a 32 ounce mug, right? 
Fill it in the morning, fill it one more time. There you go, 64 ounces of water a day. And then go for a walk. Most people know if they're overweight or if they wanna lose any amount of weight, if they change their diet or add workouts, they'll lose that weight. Um, why would they still reach out to the medical weight loss team if they quote unquote know what they need to do? Because sometimes knowing isn't enough. So you can be a very intelligent person and read and have knowledge, but putting knowledge into action is not enough. You have to be accountable. And so having somebody make you accountable and having somebody guide you on what you know is much more beneficial. So seeing us keeps you accountable. We help to give you tools to work your lifestyle for you. It's not like just handing out an 1800 calorie diet and saying, here you go. Every time we see a person, we ask them what their challenges are and then help to tweak it so that it's more workable and they grow in their lifestyle each and every time. And a challenge of say the weekend with the boys is no longer a 10 to 15 pound gain. They're now losing and they're getting texts from their buddies where they all gain 10 pounds and they're successful because they have adopted healthy lifestyle. What benefits do you see in your patients, not just from a weight loss perspective, but from a medical perspective as a whole? Blood pressure reduction, improvement in sleep, lower cholesterol, reduction in reflux, um, it, sometimes hiatal hernias are significantly improved because there's no longer abdominal pressure, um, improvement in liver functions, um, uh, less medications all around, um, improved mental clarity. Um, there's so many health benefits that it goes on and on and on. People have even been able to get rid of their CPAP machines. So no more apnea. Is the program very similar for each patient or do you find it, it ends up being very different? It's, there's basics that are the same, but I promised myself when I started the program, well, when I was asked to, to come and run the program, um, that I didn't want it to be cookie cutter, that I wanted each patient to be evaluated for the individual that they are. And so, no, it is not the same for each. Yes, do they follow up every month? Yeah, basically, they do. Do they see the dietitian? Yes, they do. But it is not the same for each person. Is there anything else you want the community to know when they think about medical weight loss? Yes, um, that this is a service to themselves and that if they would give themselves the chance for a better health, a better lifestyle, to allow themselves to grow and stop the yo-yo, that they could literally improve so many facets of their health and they have the power to do it. Ronnie Marino, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. And to learn more or to set up an appointment with the medical weight loss team, please call 941-917-4753. As always, we encourage everyone in our community to visit smh.com to get the latest information from Sarasota Memorial. Have a great day.